Being searched! Islam will kill you! They want to slit your throat! Islam will rape you! Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. We have no choice. We have no choice. We have no choice. My name is Ishan Kurubia, and at the age of 17, I decided to make change in the world. With my love for my religion and passion to help, I wanted to help change the misconceptions against Islam. The media portrays Muslims in such a negative connotation. They never show the good. So I'm here to show you the good. Let's get it. Being the president of the Muslim Student Association at Richland College, I organized a presentation with care after a Friday prayer, also known as Juma. The presentation was called, What is Islamophobia? So what is Islamophobia? So this is Kara's definition of Islamophobia. So, and it, it literally means, you know, fear of Islam. That is literally what it means. I then decided to collaborate Richland's MSA with the University of Texas at Dallas's Islamic Relief. They host this volunteer service once every month called Project Downtown. My name is Etisam Urshad. I'm uh, at UTD. I'm a sophomore and I'm an officer for Islamic Relief here at UTD. And the third Saturday of every month, we go out uh, and we make lunches at UTD. We buy everything that we, uh, with money that we raise ourselves through bake sales. And then we go out, we make lunches, about like two, three hundred. And we go and we distribute them to homeless people. As you can see, uh, we're in South Dallas right now. Uh, it's just a really good, it's what we can do to give back. Uh, these people have been here forever. Uh, it's the least we can do for them. And everybody who comes out, everybody's welcome. They're not just Muslims. We invite everybody, whoever wants to come. From, from buying McDonald's burgers down on the corner to handing out food out of the back door. We have had the donors, we've been blessed to have the donors that we have, and now we have the Beacon of Light. And the Beacon of Light is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's a guiding light to guide all of the misguided to the true guidance what we have up here at Masjid Al-Islam. look like there's an end in sight because there's looks like it's going to be a need a continual need and we're going to be here to feed that need that means honestly confronting the crisis of islamic extremism and the islamists and Islamic terror of all kinds. We must stop what they're doing to inspire because they do nothing to inspire but kill. So we touch people. I'll tell you what, true story. One brother who was homeless, uh, and I'm gonna tell the story and I hope he doesn't get mad. He was incarcerated uh, and after he got out, he was homeless but he would come by and we would feed him. True story. This brother saw what we were doing and decided I need to be a part of this. Since then, he has accepted Al-Islam and today he is a member of our board, of our Shura board, he's a member, and he better not get mad when I say this, he went from incarceration and homeless to having a over a million dollar contract with Walmart. So now he's a, an entrepreneur, businessman, and he's a pillar in the community. On Valentine's Day, an organization at Richland College called Intercultural's Women's Society hosted an event that shared what love means in different cultures and communities. I was asked to speak on behalf of Richland MSA to explain what love means in Islam. A common misconception about Islam is that people think that we 
and the people think that Islam like spreads by force, but actually Islam represents peace and love. So everything that we are taught, everything like how to interact with people is all through peace and love. We are taught that when someone does us wrong, we're supposed to react with love and peace and kindness. That is the, the basis of our religion. Being a student mentor at Richland Collegiate High School, we try to do service to help our community. For Valentine's Day, the mentors decided to make a combination of Valentine's and Get Well Soon cards that would be delivered to Medical City Children's Hospital. Hey, <laughs> Check it out. We had originally hoped that we could deliver them to the children in person, like some of the mentors could go and uh, you distribute them. And the hospital said that because of the flu epidemic right now, that would be very difficult to do. I am very excited about the fact that our school is very diverse because to me, a diverse student body brings so many life experiences and, and different points of view. As a volunteer at East Plano Islamic Center, also known as EPIC, there are different volunteer opportunities offered. One Saturday morning, we decided to participate and volunteer at God's Pantry. This is a food pantry where we help sort and pack food. God's Pantry is an organization that we have an open door policy we're unique of other pantries for that reason that we don't screen for financials, religion, or any other um, documents. We just have a policy that if you're hungry, you come to us and we'll feed you. I, I only wish that we had more space to, to make better use of the people who, who come and, and really are so generous with their time. We uh, have lots of, uh, you know, lots of people eager to help, but, and that's, uh, that's just, um, I think it's wonderful. We, uh, uh, you, you know, people who just aren't so generous in their hearts, and it's really good to see the folks that uh, really want to help and really recognize that um, um, not everybody uh, is living the plane of dream, you know, <laughs> so uh, the, the turnout today was just so amazing. I've never seen that many people here, uh, ever, <laughs> so uh, uh, thank you all. really appreciate it. Everything shown is what Muslims do all the time. This is normal things for us. Now that it is shown in positive light, it is your job as a Muslim or non-Muslim to share this video. And it's not for the views from me, but it's to help change that negative perception of Islam. And even if the change is one person's perspective, mission accomplished. Thanks for watching. My name is Ishan Farupia, and I am Muslim. More love. I'm Muslim and we're cool. <laughs>